Hello everyone, it's Rob Fedoric again. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Joy of Reporting series. It's so good to have you here. Today we're going to talk about the use of the trend operator in conventional ServiceNow reporting to get data within specific repeating predictable intervals. Now the word trend tends to throw people off, so I want to be clear. This isn't the kind of reporting that helps you spot trends. This is the kind of reporting where the time you're selecting is based on repeating predictable interval. Trend is your friend when you need a condition involving specific hours, days, weeks, months, quarters, or years. Scenario one, how many incidents have been opened outside business hours? So I have a report here and I've already made two conditions, but I haven't fully completed them. If I know my business hours between eight and 5 a.m., then anything outside that is fair game. So I'm gonna say that my open date trend before, and I'm gonna pick an hour, 8 a.m. So now I need to take care of anything that's after 5 p.m., after 5 p.m. So we're gonna run that, and we'll find that we have a great many tickets. Now this is where I might group it by business unit or cost center or category, CI class or whatever. I'd probably also put a fixed range of time using the relative operator. The point being is now you can report to include or exclude specific hours, days, weeks, months, quarters, etc. Making reports that truly enhance performance and service now is thirsty work. So fill up a cup of my channel sponsor, Ground Shark Coffee, and build like you mean it. Check the description for a link. Okay, scenario two. What changes are planned for this upcoming weekend? This one comes up all the time on the ServiceNow community. People want to see changes scheduled for this weekend, but struggle articulating this weekend when the days keep changing. The secret is to use the relative operator to establish a range, and then the trend operator to establish fixed day names. So in this case, we're saying the planned start date is relative on or before seven days ahead. So meaning seven days from now, anything on or before that is fair game. And since we don't want changes from 1912, we're gonna say the planned start date is at or after today. That establishes a seven day range from today in which to work in. Now let's specifically single out Saturday and Sunday. So here we have planned start date trend on day Saturday. Planned start date trend on Sunday. And this is an or statement, so I'm basically saying in the next seven days on a Saturday or a Sunday. That means no matter what day I'm on, I will only get this upcoming weekend. Yeah, but Robert, when am I actually gonna use this? My small list of ideas is nothing compared to what you will be able to achieve. Thanks for spending a couple minutes with me. If you need ServiceNow guidance with the passion and understanding that you've seen here, check out the description for how to contact me. In the meantime, just smash that like button and give us a share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.